<laughs> Welcome to Ask Napoleon. Hey, my name is Steph and I'm here with Ask Napoleon and this segment is how to's. We're going to talk about how to clean the outside of your grill. The grill we have here is a porcelain. Cleaning the outside of your porcelain grill is really simple. You just need a mild dish soap and warm water. You will wash the grill and then make sure you rinse off all cleaning agents and then dry your grill completely before using it again. So let's do it. Look at this. This grill has been a bit neglected. We are going to clean it up. So you just take soapy water and rinse the whole outside of the grill. Look at all that dirt. So clean the porcelain grill is actually quite uh, simple. It would be the easiest grill uh, exterior that we have to clean. So it's really just getting all the dirt off as best you can. You don't need to go in any, any specific direction. Just make sure that as it gets dirty, you continue to rinse your cloth off. What I would recommend is starting from the top down so the stuff drips. So you've got the dirty stuff dripping onto spots that you haven't cleaned yet. So we'll get in there and clean this control panel. With all of our control panels, we recommend just using a mild dish soap and warm water. Uh, we want to protect the decals and a stainless steel cleaner is a little too abrasive. And when cleaning stainless steel, you want to go with the grain of the steel, just so we're not rubbing the dirt and grime into it. A dish soap that uh, cuts grease is helpful since grills get quite greasy. It's important to completely dry your grill after cleaning it, um, just before you use it again, just to make sure there's no cleaning agents left on the lid. Voila, We've got clean porcelain. So let's move on to cleaning stainless steel. Uh, you can use a mild soap and warm water and get the uh, grime off of the stainless steel if it's as dirty as that. You can also use an acid-based stainless steel cleaner. Always remember to go with the grain of the stainless steel. I'm just rinsing off the uh, soap with clean water and a soft microfiber cloth. It's important to make sure all the soap uh, residue is cleaned off just because we don't want any streaks or any of the cleaning agent to be baked into the side shelf. So you can take a stainless steel cleaner and lightly spray it on. And with the grain of the stainless, wipe back and forth. This is just going to polish the stainless. And then with a clean microfiber cloth, wipe it down. Voila, clean stainless steel. So here we have a very dirty side shelf that has not been cleaned in a very long time. And here we have a beautiful clean side shelf, shiny stainless steel. It uh, won't look like this unless you never clean it. How to clean your matte black finish. Special items need special care. So what not to do, don't use stainless steel cleaner. Don't use any abrasive applicators like scouring sponges or paper towel. And don't use anything that's acidic. So what you can use is natural sponges or microfiber cloth, mild dish soap and warm water. You can even use glass cleaner to uh, get the matte black looking fresh. Microfiber. So after we use the mild dish soap and the water to clean off the grime, we rinse it down with just water to get rid of all of the soap residue. And now we're just going to dry it off. It's important to keep the cloth you are using to clean the grill clean. As you've noticed, I've changed the cloth a couple times and that's just to make sure there's no debris left on the cloth. Voila, clean matte black. Now, since this grill is clean, let's go over some pro tips. Always make sure your grill is cooled before cleaning it. Always make sure that you have completely rinsed off all of the cleaning agents that have been, that you've used to clean your grill because it can leave streaks uh, if it's left on and nobody wants a streaky grill. And last but not least, maintaining your grill, the outside of your grill is just as important as cleaning the inside of your grill. Bree, stop making me laugh. <laughs> as long as you maintain the outside of your grill regularly, your grill will last for a long time looking as fresh as this Phantom 500. Ta-da! Next up, how to, we have how to clean your rotisserie basket. It can be a real bit clean. However, if you follow these steps, it will make it a lot easier to use. So you can use a nonstick spray for using the basket and that will help clean up later. 
And uh, next tip would be to get it into hot water as soon as you're done using it because that will allow the um, sticky residue to come out. <laughs> it's not together. So that's good, it's already taken apart. So let's uh, get it in hot water and soak it. Chicken wings were cooked in this basket. So as you can see, it's pretty greasy, has lots of leftover crumbs. I'm just filling the sink with some hot water and we're gonna let this guy soak for a little bit. Some grease cutting dish soap. Dawn, as always, not sponsored. After the basket soaks for a little bit, you can use something like a kitchen brush, brush with some bristles or a scouring pad to get the stubborn bits that are left on the basket. As you can see here, lots of the residue has already come off in the hot water, but there's still some stuck on here. So we're gonna take this brush and scrub. So it is important to scrub the outside and the inside just to make sure you get all the goop off. Once you're done cleaning it, just make sure you dry it thoroughly and then store it in a clean, dry space. And voila! If you don't wanna do what I just did, you can put it in a dishwasher. Just make sure that it's a touchless, high-powered dishwasher. And if you follow all of the steps that I just told you, then this will be your favorite accessory. It offers you lots of options when grilling. You can put french fries in here, chicken wings, vegetables, you name it. Go get yourself a basket. Thank you for watching this Ask Napoleon video. Please subscribe below and leave your comments. Done. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>